Uh, so uh, the uh, proposal that I'm giving right now for this uh, class is that uh, collaboration challenges in building production level machine learning system. So first of all, I'd like to clarify what I mean by the machine learning systems. So um, I can give you one example of Google Photos, which is uh, like many other software engineering applications. This is one software uh, and it has many software engineering uh, features like the storing of photos, managing different libraries, sharing the photos with friends and families, etc. But uh, in this uh, application, there is some uh, parts that contains and machine learning component. So uh, for example, it has um, one photo tagging uh, feature where the photos are automatically tagged by Google Photos uh, with different terms. For example, it clusters uh, the ways, uh, the things that it have, like the, uh, it, you can see this is a picture of my uh, mobile's uh, uh, Google Photo app. So it uh, clusters the places, it clusters the things. And if I want to, I can search with certain things uh, that it shows all, all, all the things that it gets with that, that tag. So you can see that if uh, we uh, consider this is uh, this is a simplified architecture of Google Photos, uh, Google Photos doesn't have an architecture like this. So if we simplify this uh, like this, that Google Photos have many features like photo synchronization, managing libraries, memory handlers, and all. It also has one or more components that were uh, that uh, is a machine learning component that does some machine learning jobs or has a model in it. Uh, so this kind of uh, application that contains a machine learning application, uh, machine learning component, I call those the machine learning uh, applications. So the motivation behind doing this work uh, is uh, like it, it. I got uh, drive into it by a journey. So I'd like to sh uh, show you my journey. So I started exploring the papers at first for the software engineering for machine learning applications. And when I was uh, studying about those, I started with the notebook papers then, and I uh, slowly drive into the papers that talks more about the software view rather than the model view. So there I found out that uh, the data scientist uh, who works on the model uh, often forget about that uh, the software has a bigger picture and the machine learning component is only one part of it. So the software view is often not very much highlighted. So when I was, uh, looking into this kind of papers, I saw that they, the mentions often the challenges which are uh, scattered here and there, uh, they have established one thing that the machine learning projects are very different from the traditional software engineering projects, uh, but uh, they face different challenges uh, uh, which are uh, not in the software engineering projects, uh, projects that they work on. For example, they have uh, the challenges of uncertainty that uh, leads to the exploratory nature of the machine learning project itself. Uh, the software engineers often face problems of integrating the course from the data scientists. Uh, they have many mobility issues for, from those, and there is difference in priority. Often the data scientists complain that they don't, uh, that data gathering doesn't, doesn't get enough priority that they think they should have. So there is also the problem of communication due to different language jargons as well. So uh, this kind of problems occur because there is different roles here who are doing different tasks. Uh, they're experts in their domain, but they need to collaborate on different things. For example, the testing team needs to communicate with the machine learning people to understand how to test their models. And also the machine learning people needs to get the model requirements from the uh, broader system requirements, from the requirement engineers. And the software engineers often need to integrate the machine learning parts in the bigger code. So this is where the collaboration problems occur. But what the gap is here that we don't know why this is heard and uh, there's no specifics about the collaboration at well, uh, 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 at all. So uh, they're just uh, in random papers, they're mentioning about the collaboration issues. Uh, they're highlighting those issues, but there's no uh, single uh, research that uh, talks about these kind of problems that they are going to have. So a high level theory that we have right now is that the machine learning parts are different from the traditional software engineering projects and it uh, raises additional challenges. So that's all that we know right now. So the gap is that we don't know, we don't understand the challenges. We don't know uh, why the uh, challenges are occurring, how these challenges are occurring, who are facing these kind of challenges, and is there any best, best practice? So we don't know how to help when they are having such kind of challenges. So the hook uh, is here that all the so stakeholders who are related to this kind of projects, because if we start to understand the challenges, we can uh, standardize the project uh, process, or uh, we can help uh, them with the challenges if we start to un understand, otherwise we cannot. 
So the research question that we have right now is to understand this kind of project. We, un we un want to know how these kind of people collaborate when uh, working on this kind of projects. So there are many sub questions that we have. So some of the prior uh, that we I prioritize some of the sub questions that are that how what do they collaborate on? Uh, which roles they collaborate? What are the collaboration points uh, in their workflow? And uh, what challenges they face in doing this kind of interdisciplinary collaborations? So right now, uh, the study design that I have uh, is that at first, uh, I'd like to uh, conduct an analysis survey and quote the challenges in the papers because uh, I'm going to go in a direction of qualitative empirical research, but I want to ask the right questions. So I want to understand from the literature that what uh, the challenges they're talking about there. And then uh, I have to define a code book and define the interview guide to answer the right questions. Uh, afterwards, I have to contact the interviews and you know, code the interview scripts as well. And then the analysis and discovery of patterns need to be done. So right now I have been challenging the code in the, in the paper. So this is the way I have been uh, highlighting things. I have been highlighting those uh, in red colors and taking some notes about uh, what uh, this topic, uh, what topics they're talking about. And also uh, there are many keywords here for my code book has an orthogonal dimension. So, and there's many uh, points and subpoints there. So I'm taking uh, those, all the keywords as plus signs and uh, I'm taking some notes on what problem they have been talking about, the summary of the problem. Uh, to be specific. So um, the code book uh, I have defined and the interview guide I have defined are here in the links. I have all already showed you to, uh, all these codes. Uh, so you can also get, go into the links to get those codes. And the interview design that I have uh, currently, um, I am uh, focusing on diversity. So that is why I am trying to uh, have uh, the different roles uh, as interviews. Uh, the roles are data scientists, software engineers, managers, even the domain experts. So I'm also focusing on different regions. I'm conducting interview right now in USA and Bangladesh, and I would like to incorporate uh, other countries as well if I can. And I'm also uh, focusing on different company setups. So as you know that uh, the, for the bigger companies like Google or Microsoft, uh, there is a standard process that, that they follow when um, doing such things. But for the startups and the, uh, for the small locals, so they don't have such kinds of process. So they might face different challenges than the bigger companies. So that is why I'm uh, focusing on the different company setups uh, in the local companies as well. And about the quantity, so uh, I'm already talking about uh, this to you that uh, I don't uh, know the quantity yet. So I am relying on the magic word saturation. So when I'm taking the interviews, I want to know that when I I have come to the, the saturation, then I can uh, uh, complete the interview taking. So yeah, that is all for my part. Um, I'm open for question and answers now. The work seems great. The one thing, uh, and, and the study plan and the design seems great. The one thing that I'm not clear on is how, how did you find all of these challenges? You didn't really say much about that. Where do these things come from? And how do you know that they're actual problems? I wasn't clear on that. So uh, that's one thing that you, good. Yeah, so uh, these are mostly the challenges that are mentioned in the literature. So uh, like uh, there are different papers that uh, talks about the system views uh, where the models fit in the, the machine models fit. So in those, uh, maybe they are only uh, like uh, have focus for requirements or maybe testing or maybe fairness. So this kind of papers, but when they are uh, giving uh, the challenges or giving over the challenges that this kind of challenge we face in requirements. So we, I found that they mentioned mostly about the collaboration challenges. So I, for example, they say that- uh, the, the one thing I'm not clear on is how you found those papers in the first place, like which papers did you oh. read and which papers you did not read and how you found challenges within those papers. Okay, uh, yeah, so I should have given a link to the papers here, right? Like, no, uh, but I mean, not so much a link as a description of the process you followed to identify the papers. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, I agree, I agree that it's probably infeasible to do the systematic review, but you know, as something in between that um, is a little bit more systematic than what you did so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Uh, actually, that was the question that I was going to ask you that if I need to publish this research survey, what I need to do. So yeah, I think I got my answer during this conversation. Okay. Uh, 